Sometimes you want to control how much of a donut chart is displayed, like for a dial or gauge chart. I'll use a filler variable to show how much or how little of the donut chart is shown. And for this partial donut chart, I'll be using the metric progress. So on a new worksheet, I'm going to create a parameter. I'll call this filler, and for the current value, I'm going to set this to 0.3. Then I'll right click and show the parameter on the worksheet. Then I'll create a calculated field for the first segment of a donut chart. This field will calculate the size of the first segment. So if the average progress is greater than 50%, it limits the first segment to half of the remaining space after accounting for the filler. Otherwise, it sets the first segment to the average progress value adjusted by the filler. Then I'll create another calculated field for the remainder. This field calculates the size of the segment that represents the remaining progress beyond 50%. So if the average progress is greater than 50%, it calculates the excess progress and adjusts it according to the filler. So the excess progress is the average progress minus 50%. And then to adjust it by the filler, I'll multiply it by one minus the filler. And if it's 50% or lower, the segment's not needed, so it sets it to zero. And lastly, I'll create a calculative field for the progress that's not met yet. So this field calculates the size of the segment that represents the progress that hasn't been achieved. This formula checks that the progress is more than 50%. If it is, it calculates how much progress is left to reach 100%, adjusting for the filler value. And if the progress is 50% or less, it returns 0.5 adjusted by the filler. The filler parameter controls the portion of the donut chart that's displayed. It's cutting out a section to create a partial donut chart rather than a 360 degree one. And our filler is 0.3, which means 30% is reserved and 70% remains for the data. Multiplying each of these fields by one minus the filler ensures that each segment is proportionally adjusted. To create the structure of a donut, I'll type the minimum of zero twice into the columns. Then for the first mark, I'll change it from automatic to a pie. And I'll drag measure values into our first mark. And I want the measure values to determine the angle. I'll get rid of any measure values that we don't need, so we're left with just our three calculated fields. And then I'll pull our filler parameter into the measure values. Then I'll pull measure names into our first mark and make this a color. Because Tableau starts its pies at 12 o'clock, we need to order our measure values so that the remainder is first. And you can see how that moved the remainder to start at 12 o'clock. I'll move not yet so it's second. And that'll move the slice of the pie to be right after the remainder. Then I'll leave filler at third, which will make it cover the bottom portion of our pie. And then last will be the first segment. To get the donut effect, I'll go to the second mark and change this to a circle. Then I'll use the color to make it white. Now I can right click on either one of our minimum of zeros and make it a dual access. Under the first mark, I'll use a size slider to make it bigger. And under the second mark, I can use the size slider to determine the thickness of the donut. Then I'll edit the colors in our legend. The first segment and the remainder represent how much progress has been made. So I'm gonna make both of these a green color. And filler is the part that we don't wanna see, so I'm gonna make this white. And since not yet is the portion remaining, I'll make this a beige color. And now we can change the filler parameter to determine how much of the donut chart we want visible. So we can make it appear more like a gauge or a dial chart. And the higher I set the filler, the less of the donut chart is shown. So I'm gonna set this to 0.3. And while we can visually see this is about 60%, I wanna add the progress field into the second mark. Then I'll right click and make it an average. And I'll change this to text. 
Under the label and the marks, I'll center this horizontally and vertically. Then I'll edit the text to make it larger. Currently, the text is centered vertically within our circle. But since our donut chart is partial, the text isn't centered within the visible portion of the donut chart. A quick workaround for this is to hit enter and type something like a period. Then change the color of the font to white so it matches our circle color. And then you can use the font size to determine how much you want to move the text up. And also right click format on our progress percent and I'll change this to a percentage with no decimals. And I want to show a quick adjustment we need to make if our progress is less than 50%. So in this example, it's 31%. So I need to create another calculated field. I'll call this not yet less than 50%. And this formula is checking if the average progress is greater than 50%. And if it is, it returns zero. If the progress is 50% or less, it calculates how much is needed to reach 50% and adjust it based on the filler value. This field is necessary if we're less than 50% because we need to accurately show the unfinished part of the donut chart. And I'll pull this calculated field last in our measure values. So now you can see how that proportionally adjusts each slice of the pie. I'll then use the legend to edit the colors and I'll set this to the same color we have for our original not yet field. Now, regardless if we're less than or over 50%, our partial donut chart will be accurate. For formatting, I'll remove the headers. Then I'll format the worksheet and go to the borders to remove the row and column dividers. And under lines, I'll remove the zero lines for the sheet and the grid lines for the columns. And now we have a partial donut chart that accurately represents the progress. And we can control how much of the donut is shown using the filler parameter.